Hey there, I'm Lucas from Heine, and in this video, I'll take you through how to set up your Omega 600 Binocular Indirect Ophthalmoscope, or BIO for short. We'll go step by step through the initial setup, and I'll highlight a few important features that'll help make you feel more confident when using this device in your program and in clinical practice. Before we dive into the setup, let's take a quick look at the components. You'll notice the headband, which provides a customizable fit and the optical unit where all your adjustments, like setting filters, apertures, and the pupillary distance will happen. There's also the brightness control dial on the side, which we'll use shortly. Let's begin by adjusting the headband for the proper fit. Loosen the rotary knob located on the top and back of the headband. Besides the instrument feeling light in your hands, you'll notice that the back section will pivot and that the headband is outfitted with faux leather padding, designed to improve comfort during longer exams or shifts. Make sure the optical unit is unlocked using the fastening lever and slide the eyepieces to their outermost position. On the left side of the unit, set the aperture to large and ensure the filter is set to the unfiltered position. This makes the initial adjustment easier. Now, let's place the BIO on our head. Adjust the top knob so the front pad rests just above your eyebrows and adjust the back knob until the fit feels snug. If the unit feels front heavy, Make sure the back pad sits just under the occipital bone, and this will help balance the weight. Next, bring the optical unit forward, close to your eyes, but not touching, and lock it into place with the adjustment lever. Let's turn on the device using the brightness control dial. Here, you have stepless brightness control to adjust from 3% up to 100%. Once you hear that first click, you're at full standard illumination. Beyond that click, you activate Heine's Vision Boost feature which will increase the brightness up to 245% of the standard illumination, while staying completely photobiologically safe for the eyes. This can make a big difference when examining patients with media opacities like cataracts and will help you visualize more retinal detail when treating these patients. We can leave the illumination at that first click for the time being. Now, let's set the PD. Here, we are aligning the eyepieces for your eyes. Hold your thumb out at arm's length directly in front of you. Close your left eye and with your right eye open, adjust the right eyepiece until your thumb is centered in view. Switch eyes and do the same with the left eyepiece. Once your thumb is centered in both views, your PD is set. Now use the illumination height dial to center the light spot in your field of view. Once you're set up, it's helpful to know where each component lives. On the left side of the optical unit, you'll find the aperture selector. You can choose between large, medium, small, and a diffuser option. The diffuser is especially helpful for peripheral exams. On the right side, you'll find the filter dial. This lets you toggle between an unfiltered or a yellow filter for general exams and for photophobic or pediatric patients, a red-free or green filter for better contrast in the retinal vasculature, and a cobalt blue filter for use with fluorescein dye to detect corneal damage or foreign bodies. Underneath the optical unit, there's a lever for stereoscopic adjustment often referred to as the small pupil function. By moving the lever, you can adjust both the convergence, or the viewing angle, as well as the parallax, or the illumination angle, in sync, and on a continuous scale. This helps get the clearest 3D image possible for different pupil sizes and different viewing angles. For most exams, especially with dilated pupils or model eyes, you'll want to set it to the widest position. This gives you the best 3D image with minimal reflections. If you're working with small pupils or need to examine the far periphery, you can rotate the dial to narrow the angle. Just keep in mind that this may slightly reduce stereo detail. And when you need to take a break or talk to your patients, you can flip up the optical unit without losing any of your settings. That's your quick start guide to the Omega 600. Thanks for your attention and enjoy getting hands-on with your BIO. Find all information on Heine.com.